The top first on Fox controversy at the southern border. According to allegations in a report from the Houston Chronicle, troopers were reportedly told to push migrants back into the river and deny them drinking water. The Texas Department of Public Safety shared an email from a trooper medic to his supervisor expressing concerns over the, quote, inhumane treatment of migrants. The trooper wrote that they were given orders to push the people back into the water to go to Mexico and were also ordered not to give water to the migrants. A Department of Public Safety spokesperson said the Office of the Inspector General is investigating. Our Yami Virheen has been in Eagle Pass all day where that controversy is brewing. What our cameras captured today and what Yami uncovered at the border. Reina Gloria Dominguez Guerra is living what she calls a nightmare after being separated from her four children ages 5, 12, 16 and 22 on the U.S. side of the Rio Grande, July 9th. Papa Dios, dame fuerza. She and two other women we found in the Eagle Pass Mission Border Hope Shelter told us they were separated from their children by men wearing military uniforms. Currently in Texas, there are National Guards members from 14 different states. We reached out to the Texas military, who sent us a statement that in part says, no orders have been given under Operation Lone Star that would compromise the lives of those attempting to cross the border illegally. This comes in the heels of reports published in Texas that a DPS trooper said that they were ordered to push back those attempting to cross the border, including children. Allegations that DPS sources tell us are simply not true. Governor Greg Abbott's office and DPS sent a statement that in part says there are no orders telling service members to push undocumented immigrants back into the river or deny them drinking water. In this private Hi, property at Pecan Mr. Farm Lord, called Heavenly Johnny Farms, Johnny. workers allowed us to come in and see the fence and the concertina wire that the state has put up to their dismay. On the other side of it, we saw men, women with their children and unaccompanied minors waiting in the river to be taken into custody. Our cameras captured DPS troopers and service members allowing some in and others, all men and unaccompanied minor males sent back to the river. Jami Virgen, Fox News at 9. In Washington, D.C., Representative Joaquin Castro and members of the Texas congressional delegation calling for an investigation into Operation Lone Star and any civil rights violations. These people have a legal right to seek asylum in the United States of America and to petition for asylum. And they are being approached in a very brutalistic and inhumane way. And so we are asking for Greg Abbott to cease operation of uh, his Operation Lone Star until these claims can be fully investigated. LULAC, the nation's largest Latino civil rights organization, issued a statement saying, quote, they condemn the inhumane treatment of innocent people and denounces the use of razor wire, buoys, and other barriers that jeopardize the safety of women and children seeking asylum. They add how Operation Lone Star is utterly barbaric and Governor Abbott and all those supporting him must answer for their actions, end quote. And when it comes to the barriers being installed on the Rio Grande, legal challenges could be on the horizon. Mexico's Foreign Relations Secretary says a complaint has already been filed about these buoys and they could be violating an international treaty. Governor Greg Abbott says he's able to do this through a national disaster declaration and that it will be a good way to deter migrants from crossing the river illegally. Fox San Antonio will keep you covered on the crisis at the border. Check out our award-winning podcast, Immigration Crisis, Fight for the Southern Border, by our very own Yami Virgen. You can listen on our website, Apple, and Spotify. It's all available in Spanish as well.